Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I thought I'd show you how to make my little 3D amigurumi baby chicken. And uh, as you can see, we've got three different mouths here. We've got a single line here for a beak. We've got the double, which is sort of kissy face. And then we have this, this little beak one as well. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do all three beaks because um, people couldn't make their mind up which one they preferred. Colours you're going to need are yellow and white and orange, a couple of black bands, and you can choose uh, whatever colour you want for the diaper or the nappy pin. Um, it is a hook-only design. You are going to use your loom just to do the magic ring. You don't have to. Um, I use it because I find it easier to show other people how to do a magic ring very clearly. Um, when I'm actually doing my own designs, though, I don't use the uh, the the uh, loom at all. So we're going to get started with yellow. I used the um, a scented yellow to do this one. It actually came out very dirty looking which is rather horrible. This one is the Rainbow Loom Jelly Yellow which I think is quite nice. It's quite vibrant and nice. The opaque would look nice as well. So we'll get started. We're going to do a magic ring and I'm, as I said using my loom. I'm going to zoom in a bit so that you can see what I'm doing. Take a single band, wrap it once and twice. We're going to do a magic ring with six bands. So count out six little bands like that. Now what you're going to do is pop your hook through. I use my 2.75 hook to do my Lumigurumi. I find it easier with a smaller hook. Link your first band through the band on your peg and reclaim. And then you're going to take one over the other and budge it around. Back through one over the other and you've got two little slip knots and join them together. Now if you have not done any of my Lumigurumi or Cheryl's um, Lumigurumi projects please have a look at my Lumigurumi for beginners guide because without doing that you're going to find the terminology and the stitches that we're doing a little bit confusing and I have people saying to me I can't do that I don't know what you're saying I don't know what you're talking about and they haven't actually had a look at the beginner's guide, which would have actually made things a little bit easier for them, cleared things up. So here's my sixth band through, and there's my little magic ring. Now we can put our loom away. You don't need to use that. Now, if you, if you don't want to use a loom for that, as I said, you don't need to. Next, what we're going to do is put our hook through. Now I should mention actually before I go too much further I use I also use a stitch marker. Now a stitch marker is to help you remember where you start and finish each round. You don't have to use it um, you could you don't have to go and buy one you could use a um, an S clip, a C clip, um, a paper clip it really doesn't matter but as long as you've got something to help you mark where you start and finish so, having a look at our magic ring, we've got one, two, three, four, and five of these little stitches here, okay? And then the sixth one is on our hook. So we're going to push our hook through that first stitch, take our first single band, and pull it through and reclaim. And then you're going to do a slip knot like that. So you've now got two loops on your hook. You're going to take the one closest to you up and over to join them. And this is where we're going to put our little stitch marker. Now, we're going to do what's called an increase in each of these stitches. And that means we do two single crochets in each stitch. And that will make it go from five or six stitches around to 12 stitches. So push back through that first stitch again. And with our second single band, you go through and do a slip knot and join them together. So you have two stitches in that one stitch. Now we're going to move to this stitch and we're going to do two in here. Here's one. Do your slip knot and then you join them together one over the other and then go back through for the same stitch and do your second. And there you go, there's your second one. Now we go to the third stitch and we'll do the same again. There's your first single crochet, back again for your second. Here's our fourth stitch. There's our first single crochet, back through again 
for the second. This is our fifth stitch. And this is our sixth stitch. And go back through for the second. Now, if you count, this is number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the twelfth one is on our hook. So we're going to go through our first stitch and we'll do a single crochet. Pull your band through, reclaim, join together and move your stitch marker. So we've done stitch number one. Now what we're going to do is a single crochet plus an increase, a single crochet plus an increase. So that was our single crochet. So the next stitch, which is this second one, we do an increase. And as you remember, the increase is two stitches in the same one. So that was our first single crochet. Here's our second. Now we go to a single crochet in the third and an increase in the fourth. So there's number one and number two. A single Oops, that wasn't very clever. The jelly bands are a lot slipperier single there we go let's go to the next one for our double or well, not a double I'm sorry an increase a double crochet is completely different single an increase and a single and an increase and a single and an increase and we're back to the beginning and there's our first stitch so we're going to put our hook through and do a single crochet and move our stitch marker to this particular band here. So now what we're going to do is two single crochets followed by an increase. We've done our first single crochet, so in this second stitch we'll do another single crochet here and now in this third stitch we'll do an increase. So there's number one, back through that third stitch to do our second. Now we do a single crochet in the fourth, single crochet in the fifth, and an increase in the sixth. And again, one, one, and an increase. one and an increase one one and an increase One, one, and an increase. 
increase. Back to the beginning, put your hook through and do a single crochet, join them together and move your stitch marker. All right, now we're going to do rounds of just single crochet, which means you just do one stitch in each stitch. So we've done our first one, so go through to our second, and we're going to do eight rounds of this. So a single crochet in each of these stitches with a single band. Oh, that band is stuck together. There we go. So all the way round, just doing one in each of these stitches. And as I said, we're going to do this eight times. So this is number one of eight. The way I like to count it, you can use a stitch counter. If you don't have a stitch counter, what I do is I take out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm doing eight. I'm doing eight rounds. I'm already on my first round, so I'm going to take one away, which means I have seven bands here. Each of these bands is one round. And as I said, I'm starting, I'm already on eight. So I just take a band from my other pile of bands. And then every time I start a new round, I take one from here. And that's how I keep a count of what round I'm actually on. I'm not going to do eight rounds with you. I'm just going to keep going around for this round. And then um, we will meet up when we have all done eight rounds in yellow. So I'm at the end of my, I have one more stitch to go to go to my first stitch here of my eighth round. I'm going to do two more in yellow before I then change to white. So going through and we will move our stitch marker. So this is going to be a round of yellow. As I said, we're going to do two more. Get my stitch marker out the way. There we go. And then we're going to change to white, and that's the start of the nappy, or as we say in the USA, the diaper. You're just doing single crochets. Make sure you go through both of the loops. The other thing you're going to need is stuffing of some sort. Now I use the 100% polyfill toy stuffing. I find that works really well. It's quite light. And it's quite soft um, and it it, um, it does fit quite nicely it does uh, the fibers get all over the place a little bit but uh, it's still the nicest one to use but you can use other stuff you could use cotton wool you could use tissues one lady used shopping plastic shopping bags you could use yarn scraps and back to the beginning through my first stitch and pop that through uh, somebody else used old bands. I, I don't know whether that would really work. Um, but yeah, w whatever you have. But if you get the chance to get the polyfill, 
um, I think you will find it does last a long time it's not terribly expensive and uh, it does give you some very nice results oops make sure I go through both of those loops there So this is our last round with yellow. Please remember you can slow my video down if you're using your PC, your computer, you can actually use the YouTube um, settings and there is a setting in there that you can slow the video down if I'm going too fast for you. And I do have a tips and tricks video on how you can do that. Um, the other thing you can do is pause me. And um, at the beginning of each round, I tell you what the stitches are to do for that specific round. And pause me, do your round and then start me again. Okay, so this is my last stitch of yellow. As you can see, this is my first stitch here, back at the beginning. So I'm going to take a white band and I'm going to go through the yellow stitch like that. I'm going to do a slip stitch, so I'm going to add my white band to the loop that's on my hook. Reclaim one over the other like that and I'm going to move my stitch marker so that's a slip stitch okay and that really allows you to merge the colors a little bit nicer than if you just continued with your continuous rounds so let's do our first round in white now we're going to do let me see here three four five six in total um, but there are going to be some decreases as well so Let's do three in white. And we're just doing single crochets. And we will need to put our wings, our eyes, our beak on. So when I get to the end here, I'm going to do one more in here and if you remember that was my first stitch here so I'm going to go through where my marker is, do my single crochet and I'm going to move my stitch marker to just hold this. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is place my wings, my eyes, my beak. So, 
and remove these ones which are my counters out of the way. If I half this, if I press it down in half so that the stitch marker is in the middle, I can work out where I want my eyes to be, okay? And the eyes are coming down quite low. If you count from the top there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're probably about eight down. And so there's my centre here. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So about here, about on this line, is where I want my eyes. If you have a look here, let's see, there's the... Now, this is actually a little bit of a bigger one than this. Uh, we did six in the round instead. With this one, I did five, which is making this a little bit bigger. So, we're going to do the eyes on this level. So, we work out where we want them exactly, and then the beak goes in the middle. So, what I'm going to do, taking a single black and two white you're going to do the first white band wrap it once twice and three times move it down your hook take a black band once twice three times move it down your hook white band once twice three times and move it down you're going to slide these onto a yellow band now, when you slide them over, try and lift them and slide them so that they're not too um, twisted on themselves. Like this. And like this. Okay, so you have both sides of your little eye. That's your first eye. Now, as I said, we want the beak to go there. So I'm going to do one eye this side and one eye this side, and I'm going to use the gap between where I have my hook here. All right, so I need to take one side off to hold, and the other side I'm going to hold like this. I'm going to push my hook. Now I have obviously two hooks, as you can see. I'm going to push my hook through here. I'll take this one out. Pull one side through, and then I'm going to skip one spot and go to the second spot over here to pull that through like this. Flip it over and you're going to take a yellow band and slide that yellow band between the two ends of your band that hold the eye and tie a slip knot, nice and tight. And there is your first eye, okay? We're going to do the second eye, we're going to miss that first loop there and go in here. So miss this first loop here and you're going to go in here and it'll be here and here. So again, take a single white, wrap once, twice and three times. Your single black band, once, twice, three times and a white, once, twice, three times, slide onto a yellow. them up so they're not too straggly. Holding one side here, pinch the other side. Now do you remember the, this first band goes through this loop here so we're going to skip a loop and it'll go this side. Um, pop it through. Now obviously you can adjust it to wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. Put it through and again skip a loop. Go to the one next to it, as long as they're even. Now, that's how my eyes are going to be. And then I'm going to have the beak in the middle. So let's make sure that that is going to look right. You might want them closer, but again, it's completely up to you. I'm going to do them like this. Take a single band, pull it through, and do a slip knot on the inside. Like so. There we are. So there's my eyes. I'm going to do the beak. Now we have three different beaks. So I'm going to show you how to do all three and you can then pick which one you want. To do this little beak here, which is two parts, all right, you take a single orange, wrap it once, twice, three times, and you slide onto a pair of orange like that. 
and another pair of orange okay and then what we're going to do is take another single don't reclaim it wrap once twice three times slide onto a pair so it's similar to how we do the foot how I do my feet you're going to reclaim that like this poke it up so that this is sitting up and pop that one on top so that you've got these two parts the 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 longer one should be the top beak and the one that's shorter is the bottom beak if you don't want it shorter if you want them both the same size that works too you just put another pair on like this Again, make sure it's up the top reclaim so this way the beak is the same the same um, distance again up to you and then using white uh, I'm sorry yellow slide onto a yellow don't let it go so put it on your yellow and you would place it on your mouth like this okay so that's that's how we do one the next one single band orange wrap once twice three times another one once twice three times another one once twice three times so I've got three bands and I'm sliding onto an orange a uh, yellow I keep wanting to say orange pretty it up and there's another one there's your second one here's your third one and this is how you do the single okay and again when you place it on you go through one side here pull it through grab the other side on the other side of the face and pull it through and that's how you do the single all right now to do the double you do one of those and then I did one that was slightly bigger so I used four bands so one two three one two three one two three and the fourth band one two three grab another yellow Pushing it up so that they're even because they're lips like so now in order to make these two sit together I took one end of the yellow of the first one and pulled it through and then I did the same on the other side so grab the, put the other side on Grab the other end and one over, and that is how I did the kissy lips. So you have those like that, and we'll use the kissy lips for this particular one. So holding on to one side and then the other, you're going to approximate you want the kissy lips in the middle. So I'm going to put one side here, grab, pull through, skip a, skip a spot. Go to the other side, grab the other end, pull through. There's your two loops. Grab your yellow band and tie off in a slip knot inside. And there's the two little kissy lips. Okay, now we want to do wings. Get the the orange bands out the way for a second so for the wings you're going to pick either side and I do them approximately in line with the mouth okay so pinch so that this is in the middle pinch and go through one side here and just drag a yellow band through so that you can mark it okay so you've got your yellow band that's coming through one side and then you're going to approximate and do the same on the other side make sure you're in line and there's my other side here okay now what we're going to do is basically a magic ring on top of this so holding that onto your hook grab another single band and flick it <laughs> grab another single band on the end of your hook and pull through reclaim and do a slip knot 
so that's one over the other. Go back through that first band, okay? And we're doing uh, eight of these, so that was one. This is number two. Put it, let's try that again. Push it through. Grab your second band, pull it through, reclaim, one over the other, and join together. That was two. Go back through that loop. This is number three. Pull it through, one over the other. There we go. This is number four. Pull it through. This is number five. Oops, try again. Number six, the slippery bands. Number seven. And it looks a bit crowded, but that's okay. You want it to be full, otherwise it's going to look a bit odd. This is number eight. Keeping it on your hook. I'm going to spread those around like this. Now, as you can see, we have the hole where we went through. What we're going to do, hold on, I've taken it off my hook, hold on to it. You want to go through, this is where we went through, go through the hole that we have started in and pull that loop through to the back, okay? Through to the back and then you're going to find a band a little bit, further away from it. So I've skipped these two. I'm going to go over here and grab that and I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to do a slip knot. And that's just to keep it so that it's pulled a little tighter so it's not so loose. And again spread this out and that's how I did the little wing. All right let's do the other side. I'm going to move to my smaller hook. For some reason I swapped to my larger hook. So this is my second band to do my next wing okay and we're going to use eight so one two three four five six seven and eight here's my first one that I'm going to pull through reclaim and do a slip knot back through that first band there's number two back through the number three Four. Five. Six. Seven. And our last one. Scritch in there. Is... Number eight, join them all together, spread them around if you have to, hold on, pinch that, that last loop, let's find where we started, here it is, this is where we were, push your hook through, grab it, bring it through to the back side and again find a, a, a little loop that's not right where you were, move over a little bit so that it's stretched and pull through your next band to do your slip knot. And there's your second little wing. Now, are they going to be completely even? Probably not, because you did one this way and you did this one this way. But I don't think it really is going to matter. So there's his little, or her, depending on whether we're going to do a boy or a girl. I'm really not sure what, what uh, you choose to do. There's our little face and our little wings. Now we're going to do two more um, rounds in white single crochet before we start doing some decreasing so push your hook back through find your first stitch now this we've done our first single crochet so we're in through this one here and we're going to do a round of single crochet we are still going to need our orange bands we're done with the yellow but we are going to need the orange to do the feet
We'll continue round with our white bands doing single crochet. Somebody uh, from Instagram made the comment that this looked like the little ducky from uh, Phineas and Ferb and I don't actually watch that show so I had to go and Google and they're right, it does and I hadn't even looked at that so it's quite amusing. So thank you for that giggle. I thought these would be quite um, easy little things to do for some of the kids in the in the classrooms for Easter, and uh, the little bunny bracelets as well. So I'm getting a head start. So I'm nearly back to the beginning. There's my last stitch. Back to the beginning. This is stitch number one, so move my stitch marker into here, I do another round, just all of single crochet. A lot of people have said to me that when they do these they can see the stuffing coming through. I think it's a lot more difficult to um, to manage the size of the stitches. When you're doing yarn you have tension of the yarn which you can control and with um, bands you can't, they're elastic. So I think it definitely helps having the smaller hook I think a larger hook can stretch them. You don't want to stretch your bands out when you're doing this because you've automatically adjusted the tension by doing that. Um, so you want to try and keep them as unstretched as possible. And also remember that these bands will relax after you use them. They do take a few hours, sometimes up to a day, to relax and, and go back into their natural shape. Um, the other thing also is overstuffing with filling and you want to be really careful with that because that can determine whether you spread these out and uh, see. One other thing was um, the types of bands. I believe the brand of band makes a difference as well. I'm back at the beginning. I'm going to do a single crochet in white like that. I'm going to move my stitch marker. I'm going to put at this spot whether my um, creation is a, a boy bunny or a bunny, a boy or a girl chick. And I'm going to just use blue because I have that handy. Um, literally, I'm going to line it up on the white with the beak. And, and I'm just going to say, OK, I have these, these spots here. I'm just going to go through those two. I'm going to take a single band pull it through, reclaim with a white band. I'm going to do a, I'm going to flick it. 
white band I'm going to do a slip knot like that and then I'm going to pull the end of my white band round so that it's inside my little figure like that and that is going to be his nappy pin or his diaper pin however you call it all right so we're having a, a little we're having a little boy now what we need to do is start doing some decreases so again put your hook through and to do the decreases we're going to start off by doing two single crochets and then a decrease so this was our first single crochet this will be our second single crochet and then we do a decrease now to do a decrease you're going to go there's two ways you can do a decrease you can do an invisible decrease which is where you go and it's the way I prefer you go through the next stitch as if it was your next stitch to, to do a, a single crochet but then you collect the stitch next to it as well all right the other way is you just completely skip that one stitch and go here but I find with bands that leaves quite a big gap and it doesn't look quite as nice so I prefer to actually take in your first stitch grab your second stitch and drag a band through both even it up and join together and I feel that that doesn't leave such a big gap now we're going to do two single crochets in the next two stitches so one single crochet and the next stitch single crochet and then we do our decrease again so through that next stitch capture and you're going through the front capture the next stitch and pull that band through and reclaim and now we do two singles again there's one and here's two and a decrease I do find that I do stretch these when I'm doing a decrease more so than when I'm doing my single crochets And my last decrease, pull it through, and a single crochet here to start my next round. And I'll move my stitch marker like so. Now, I want his little legs to come down one, two, three, and four. So I'm here, one, two, three, and four. They're going to sit on this spot, okay? Now, there's a couple of ways you can do it. We can do another decrease, and then we can add them. Or, the other thing is, we can just add them as we go through. So I'm going to make, I've made one. I'll show you how to make the other one. Take a single band, wrap it around your hook once and twice. Take a pair and slide on. Do that again. A single band, wrap once and twice. Take a pair and slide on. And we do it one more time, so we've got three of these. Single band, wrap once and twice. Take a pair and slide on. Now, we want to connect all of these up together on a pair of bands. So take a pair of bands, two, and you're going to slide them on. One, two, three. Before we reclaim these bands here on the end, I want you to pinch them, okay? And then take another pair and wrap around your hook once and twice. It can be a bit tricky to do that. Now we're going to put these back on like that. 
try and pretty these up so they don't look too tangly. Take a pair and we're going to slide the first two loops on. One and two. Then the wrapped band that we just made and then the other two loops. Okay? Reclaim. Now we're going to do four pairs. One. Two. Three. And four. So we have both of them the same height. Let's check. Make sure I haven't made one longer than the other. They're both the same. Good, good, good. All right. Now, as I said, we can attach them uh, as we loop in, which I think is quite a good idea. And you would just attach one to each of here and here. So what we need to do is mark where we're going to put them. I'm going to use white bands, or I, I, you can use orange just as markers to stand out. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to take this off my hook. I need to use my hook. Stay there. All right, so again, marry up where you want this to happen. So here is the middle. I'm going to go one band either side and two band. So this will be where I'll put one and then do the same on the other side. One band and two band. So this will be where I put the other. Okay, so I'm just going to use those as my visual markers for where I want the legs to go. We're going to continue doing a decrease. So put your hook back on. And we're going to start a single crochet decrease, single crochet decrease. This was our single crochet, so we need to do a decrease. So go through your first and your second stitch like that. Drag a white band back through and we do a decrease. Now, our next stitch here, we're going to add one of the legs, just one side. So put Put the orange of one side on, grab a white band, and you want to make sure that you don't pull it through the other side. So kind of pinch it, pull it through, and do your single crochet like that. All right, now the next side, and obviously you can take your orange marker out. Again, put your hook through the white as if you're going normal, through the orange, and then through the other white because we have to do a decrease so pull it through through and through and there's our decrease now that's how we can add it like that okay so that was our decrease now we have a single crochet And now we've got a decrease. So we're going in through the first one, but the second one is where we want to put our next one. So I'm going to go in. I'll take that stitch marker thing out that I've just put there. I'm going to grab my next leg. And I'm going to put one side. Now, I'm going to do what I did to this side. I'm going to go through the first one. Then I'm going to put the leg, okay, of one. I've, I'm still pinching that other side and I'm going to go through the white for the next and I'm going to drag this through as, through one come here you let's try that again through one and through the other and drag through it's a bit tricky do my single crochet go through my next stitch here hope that I haven't lost that, I haven't, there it is, pop that on and do my next single crochet, make sure I go through both both orange loops <laughs> come through you might need to use your fingers through there, <laughs> do it manually, there we go now we do a decrease here, so through the next stitch is a decrease but 
again you can see that you've added your little leg okay I'll twist that around so we just did a decrease so now I'm doing a single crochet and a decrease and a single crochet now I haven't left myself much room for stuffing but that's okay we can do it and a decrease or not a flick of a band and another flick of a band gosh there we go and back to the beginning I'm going to do a single crochet and move my stitch marker now I'm going to move this stitch marker to a spot a little bit up here on his diaper on his nappy like that just to keep it out the way because I have to try and stuff my little dude okay so I'm going to get my stuffing get these bands out of the way so I don't throw them all over the place As I mentioned, less is more when you're stuffing. So start with just a small bit. It's far easier to not put too much in than try and have to take it out. And we're just going to stuff our little guy. You don't want to overstuff him. I think just a tiny bit more. So there we go, that's the stuffing. Now, let's get these fibres out of the way. We can move our stitch marker back, put our hook back through. And you can take the stitch marker out now, because all you're going to be doing is with white bands, collecting up the next two stitches and doing a decrease gosh I'm having fumble fingers today <laughs> there we go and the next two we're not doing a single crochet in between now you're just doing the decrease the next two as I said I made this one a little bit bigger if you want it smaller start with a magic ring of five instead of six doing little decrease stitches and then when you can't do any more you just do one slip stitch so this is our last decrease and just through here I'm going to take a single band pull it through all of them one over the other into a slip knot nice and tight I'm going to poke my hook through the centre here, grab that tie off band and pull it back through so it's hidden inside our creation. Gently pull out 
and here is our little now also these are angled so you can make them these little feet you can angle them up so that they're sitting there like that but there we have our little chick now if you want the legs coming out either side further up you can um, you know you just count further around um, I specifically wanted them at the front but that's just me but there you go there's our little Easter chick I hope you enjoy making him or her take care bye bye